Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression to Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have a 14 by 14 inch canvas in front of you. And I hope that my camera keeps recording because it's taken me seven tries to get my adapter to work. And I have been requested by somebody who's local, 40 minutes drive from where I am, to do a Dutch pour. To teach them to do a Dutch pour even. And uh, I said, I've never done one, so... Um, that would imply that I might <laughs> need to know how to do that. So he sent me a couple links, and honestly, I've seen Dutch pours done before, and it doesn't seem to be that insanely difficult. I can understand why it might be difficult. I don't know if sometimes it might have something to do with the recipe of the paint, and I'm wishing that I had a smaller canvas because it seems to work very well for them on... 10 8 by 8s and 10 by 10s and 12 by 12s and that size. This is a 14 by 14, so we don't know what we're going to get, but I have pretty good lung power, and so my intention is to go ahead and give myself a couple of things. I'm going to add some thicker paint in the center to begin with. I'm going to make puddle pour. Matter of fact, a couple few little things because I need to put my own bent on things. I think I'm going to put a little bit of um, a little bit of other lighter color. Am I? Am I not? <laughs> I may not be. Oh, all over everything and me. Okay then. So I don't think it matters much what you put in the center to tell you the truth, but um, I'm going to be a little bit odd, as I always am, and use colors that I love. If I can get them to come out of the bottles, I'll give that a bit of a shake. I do have, or used to have, and really need to have, right in front of me right now, the straw that I was using yesterday, that I made an assumption that might have been wrong. that I have, you know what, that tubing is not going to work as well as a straw, and I'm kind of bummed, <laughs> but I'm not finding that straw, and it's bright orange, so I don't know where it would have gone. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to just have to use my breath, so that was part of my plan anyway. It's a good thing my, uh, camera can't. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to blow straight into that as if I were a heat gun or an air gun or a blow dryer. And it's messy. And it's a 14 by 14 inch canvas, so... I don't recommend this method at all, but it doesn't matter right now because I think you get the idea. And I'm, I did promise my new potential student that I would move indoors. And I think if I'd had that straw, it would have been a lot better off for me. But now we know what a mess I can make. I still can't believe it's gone, but the wind does pick up occasionally and things do disappear here. There we go. Wow. All right, let's try again. No, too specific. Still might be cool though. I think for a 14 by 14 inch painting, it's too much. Uh, it's not enough paint in the center. So I'll just do that again and try the straw this time. I definitely think I need the heat gun. Looks like a big mess. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be tilting this, but um, <laughs> it's a failed attempt, what can I say? I also didn't do the uh, 
the cursory torching, which sometimes helps release the bubbles and create patterns. And I think what I'm going to do, what am I going to do? I'm going to do what I can do. So I guess the good news is that I love my spatula and they're available on the Amazon link below show more. And uh, the other good news is I still have plenty of paint. <clears throat> but I definitely recommend smaller canvases and I'm going to go ahead and give myself some permission here to uh, get busy and fix this. Maybe I'll wipe the paint off my timer. <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I'll poke a hole in the top of another squeeze bottle. And I like that purple. And this is a mica powder, which I usually wouldn't bother trying to use. But there's so much white paint there, why not? I've got black turquoise. I'm looking for, what am I looking for? I'm looking for another purple. Am I? Gosh. No, I'm looking for the Prussian blue. Yay, I figured it out. So, what to do with a failed Dutch pour? Have some fun. Take your paint bottles out of your way so you can spin your turntable. Maybe tilt a little. I may actually want to bring uh, some more colors into this. I should have known. <laughs> well, I will, I promise I will try this another time with the actual smaller canvas that I'm recommending <laughs> because I'm smart like that. <laughs> and I should have known. Anyway, this is a beautiful watery, beautiful bunch of watery colors. So if I get a pretty painting out, oh, it's raining. If I get a pretty painting out of it and, uh, my edge catchers out of the rain. I'll probably be happy. I want one of those edge catchers right now. Not in the painting preferably. So I do have some nice cells. And all bets are off as far as what I decide to do with this. As in, I've got skewers and chain. balloon roll territory to me. I think it's time to pull a little Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula down into this. And I've got a nice little number two that's the smaller diagonal that I think will work perfectly. I'm going to let some of that go right over the edge. I may not be teaching anybody how to do Dutch pours unless we find a way to make me successful at doing this. I just, oh, I can feel the, the water on the back of my legs coming right off the roof. So I like this, but I think it needs something else in there, and I think the something else is going to be this. If I don't talk for a moment, I think I'd be shouting even if I was. Alright, so since we've cancelled all actual rules, let's put some chain in there. I love working with chain. And I love that purple that crosses over and becomes all kinds of other things. Yep. 
the rain is early. For sure. Now usually what I do with chain is I loop it like this in my hand. And then I throw a few loops in. And when the loop gets to the edge of the canvas, I also let the paint that's caught inside the loop relax. patterns in there and I'm not going to complain about that accident becoming something other than what I wanted it to be. I like that there's some white paint in the chain because when it hits the solid colors it makes new, new marks. I don't want to get so frisky that I destroy what I love. to make sure that I use that chain, excuse me, use that paint that is deposited from the interior of the loop of the chain when I get to the edges. I'm just going to add a couple dots of color, hoping I can keep it because there's so much white in there. I'm wondering if I need a whole bunch of anything anywhere else and thinking I probably don't. I'm kind of wishing that if I use enough of this beautiful purple, some of it will stay. Well, it's a good thing I have some dry paint clothes to put on because this was definitely not something I was expecting. I need a clean shave.
might want to do, and I really don't feel like it's that much. And it's not going to keep me from trying anyway. I think I like that. Not only that, I think I like this as well. Showing the clothing, that's Teespring. It doesn't say so, but that's Teespring. Those are all my designs. If you click on any one of them or you want to find something you can't find, you can always ask me. My email is below the video. And you can use that email if you have a request for a, for a class or a painting. If you will be so if you will be so good as to include the number next to the hashtag if you any end of any YouTube artwork. That will help me find the painting that you're interested in, should you be interested in one. I am touching up my edges. And I'm almost done with that, so I'm going to say this is Priscilla Batsell from Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio. Thank you.